Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install and set up Node.js on your Windows 11 operating system. I'm also going to show you how you can uh, use Node.js with your Visual Studio Code editor. So let's get started and let's see how we can do it. So first of all, open your favorite browser and search for Node.js and the first link which will appear here will be from Node.js.org. So we are going to click on this link. And here you can see the homepage of Node.js. Straight away, you will be able to see the download Node.js button, which is the button for the LTS version. So I'm going to click on this download Node.js LTS button, which is going to start the download of this Node.js MSI file. So once this file is downloaded, as you can see, the latest version at the time of making this video is 20.16. So we are going to click on this MSI file and then let me minimize the browser. And you can see the setup for Node.js has been started here. So here you just need to click on the next button. And then on the next window, you will see the end user license agreement. If you agree with those license terms and conditions, just check on this checkbox and then click on next here. And this will be the default location where Node.js will be installed on your Windows operating system. If you want to change it, you can also change this uh, folder location for Node.js. For now, I'm going to keep it as default and then click on next here. And now we have uh, this custom setup window. I don't want to uh, change anything here. You can see this feature requires 66 megabyte of your hard drive. So make sure you have uh, this much amount of uh, space available on your uh, computer. And also you will see what will be installed. So you can see uh, Node.js runtime will be installed. Core pack manager will be installed. NPM package manager will be installed and all these other things, right? So at this point, I'm going to uh, click on next here. And then you have this window tools for native modules. I generally check this checkbox, which will automatically install the necessary tools. And also it's going to install a tool called Chocolatey, which is like a package manager for the Windows operating system. And for that, we will also see some kind of pop up. So just check this checkbox and then click on next here and then just click on install button, which is going to first of all, give you this kind of uh, window, which says, do you want to allow this app to make changes on your device? I'm going to click on yes here. And then you will see that the installation of Node.js is going to start. So at this point, we just need to wait for the next step. And after a few seconds, I can see uh, that Node.js is already installed on my uh, Windows operating system. So I can click on uh, this finish button. And it's going to uh, give you this kind of pop-up window. So if you see this kind of window, you just need to press any key on your keyboard. And then uh, once again, press on any key on this keyboard. And once you do that, it's going to install those additional tools on your Windows operating system. So just wait for these tools to be installed. In between, you will see these kind of user account control uh, pop-ups. At this point, you just need to uh, click on the yes button and it's going to just install all those additional tools. So as you can see, it's installing those additional tools. So we are going to uh, let it uh, finish. At this point, I can minimize this uh, PowerShell terminal and don't close this terminal yet. Just let this process to finish. But Node.js is already installed on your Windows operating system so we can start using it. It's just installing those additional tools which is for now we don't require. So now at this point to check whether Node.js is working or not I can open the command prompt. So just go to the search bar and then search for CMD and then click on command prompt here. And then you can just write node here and then press enter. And if you see this kind of output, which says welcome to node.js and it shows the version, that means node.js is 
properly installed on your Windows operating system. So when you give the node command, it will open this kind of a REPL, which will allow you to uh, evaluate your uh, JavaScript or node related commands. For example, for simplicity, I can just write one plus one and it's going to give you two or you can just write console.log here and then log something. Let's say we want to just print uh, hello world here and then I can just press enter and it's going to print that uh, string in your terminal. So as you can see Node.js is uh, working fine. Now let's open our Visual Studio code and let's see how we can run a Node.js server using Visual Studio code on our Windows operating system. So let me open Visual Studio code first. And once Visual Studio code is open, here we are going to just create a new folder. So, so here I can click on open folder or I can just uh, select files here and then click on open folder from here. And let me create a new folder on my desktop. So here I'm going to just uh, click on the new folder and I'm going to name my folder as let's say apps, right? And then I'm going to just select this folder which I have created and then click on select folder which is going to open this folder in Visual Studio Code. Right now it doesn't have uh, any uh, files yet. I can also click on I trust the author here. So as you can see right now, it doesn't have any files, right? So what I generally do is to uh, create my Node.js script or to start with a Node.js project. What I do is I first of all open the terminal. So just click on these three dots here and then just select terminal and then click on new terminal, which is going to open this kind of terminal window. And from here, you can uh, select the terminal you want to use depending on what terminal is available on your Windows operating system. You have this drop down menu to select uh, the terminals. Generally, I use either PowerShell or command prompt. Let's use command prompt for now. And here, because now the command prompt understand the node command and the NPM command. So NPM is a package manager which comes with Node, right? So if you want to install any third party libraries which are supported by Node, it can be installed via the NPM or Node Package Manager. Node Package Manager also allows you or helps you in creating different files and folders for your Node project. So let's say I want to create a new uh, node project in this apps folder. I can give this npm init command, which is going to create necessary files for my node.js project. So just give this command, which is npm init and then press enter. And then it's going to uh, ask you the package name. So the package name is already uh, decided, which is apps which is the default uh, also here, right? So we, because we are uh, running this npm init command inside the apps folder, the package name will also be apps, right? If you want to change this name, you can just give the new name here. But for now, I'm going to keep it default and then press enter here. The version will be 1.0.0. I'm going to just press enter once again. And then you can also give some description, for example, my first app and then press enter. And then entry point will be index.js, which we are going to create. And then once again, press enter. And then you can also provide some test commands and other things. For now, I'm going to keep everything as default. And I'm going to just press uh, enter at every step here. And then I'm going to uh, write yes here and then press enter, which is going to create my package.json file where my app name is there and the version is there, my description is there. And you can see the main uh, entry point is the index.js file, right? 
So let's just create this index.js file by just clicking on this new file option and then I'm going to just write index.js here and then press enter which is going to create this JavaScript file and on the node.js website itself so when you go to the node.js.org website here you will see the docs section so click on this docs section and then you will see the usage and example section so click on this and then you will have the documentation on how you can use the node.js and when you scroll a little bit down you will see that how you can create your first node.js server so here i'm going to copy this uh, script for creating the node.js server and then i'm going to just paste the script on my index.js file and basically what this uh, code is doing is it's just importing the http package which is available inside this uh, node uh, uh, library itself and then we are trying to create a new server using this http dot create server method and once this server is created we are going to listen on the port 3000 here and the host name is the local host right so to run this uh, script once you have uh, this index.js file and this uh, code here to run this script you can just write node and then the name of your um, entry point file which is index.js in our case and then press enter which is going to start this server and now you can see this uh, message here that server is running at this uh, address which is essentially uh, being logged by this line of code right so now you can just press control on your keyboard and then click on this link which is going to open this uh, link in your web browser and you can see the hello world message and it's opened on this host which is 127.0.0.1 port 3000 right so your server is running fine you can also debug your code in your visual studio code so let me press ctrl c here it will stop my server and to debug your code you can go to the debug section so you can see this run and debug section here so in your index.js file you can just add any breakpoint at any line so you can just click on this red dot here and it's going to put a breakpoint on that line so let's say i want to add the breakpoint on line 3 4 6 and 12 right and now to start the debugger I can either go to run here and then I can select start debugging or I can also click on run and debug so let me just uh, hover over run and then click on start debugging and you can see all these debugging options at this point we are going to select the node.js debugger and once we select the node.js debugger you can see our code is now running in debug mode and you will see a few options here right first option is for continue other option is for step over step into and step out options you can also restart your debugging and stop your debugging using these two buttons so as you can see when we started the debugging the code execution stops at our first breakpoint which is this one and on the left hand side you will see the values and variables section so right now all these uh, local variables are there and we are importing all uh, those libraries that's why those uh, variables are set and you can see port is undefined for now server is undefined for now because this line of code and this line of code is not yet executed also the host name is uh, undefined for now because we are on this line but this line of code is not executed so let's uh, step on to the next line so just click on this uh, step over icon here which is going to 
step over to the next line and this line of code is executed and now host name is 127.0.0.1 right once we uh, step over again you can see the port is now uh, 3000 earlier it was undefined but server is undefined for now for example right so once again we can step over and now the value of server is also set and you can also see all these values which are set for the server and this way you can debug your code on your visual studio code you and when you want to restart or stop your uh, debugging you can click on these buttons so let me stop the debugging for now and you can also see the list of breakpoints under the debug section and here you can see i have set the breakpoint on four uh, different lines in index.js right i can also uh, check these checkboxes to uh, just debug the caught exceptions and uncaught exceptions i can also toggle the activated uh, breakpoints uh, using this button which is going to disable those breakpoints and if i want i can even just uh, remove those breakpoints from here you can also as i mentioned run and debug from uh, this uh, debug window itself so i'm going to click on run and debug here and once again it's going to start the debugging so this is how you can install node.js on your windows 11 operating system and set it up with your visual studio code editor I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.